YouTube. Today I'm the Naughty Librarian. I'm doing an unboxing! <laughs> I have the May Fairy Loot Crate and I believe the theme was Save the Kingdom and I've been dying to get this. There's been a whole hassle with DHL who they shipped it with. I'm not even gonna get into it. I was so excited to got here. I'm like, I'm opening it right now. Like, <laughs> no time to prepare. I dipped my arm in paint. Didn't even wash it off. Let's do this. All right. Oh, I've been waiting so long. Ah, I'm so excited! To start things off, I have the spoiler card, and it's also an art print, which is super cool because I love art prints, and it's like a girl with a sword, and she's like, oh, I have to think <laughs> about saving this kingdom. Crinkle stuff, because that's how they do things. So first up, I see this. It is a um, Norgard, Kingdom of Rhyme. I'm not sure where that's from, but, um, oh, it's like a bath bomb. It's from, um, Little Heart Gifts, and it's like a bath bomb. It's shaped like a castle. Mmm. What's it supposed to, it's supposed to smell like moonstones and berries. I don't think moonstone has a scent, but berries do. It definitely smells like berries. It smells like blueberry candy. I'm kind of all about it. <laughs> I'm not a big bath person in general. But I enjoy things that fizz, so not disappointed. <laughs> Next up, I have Venda Lip Scrub. I know Venda, it's from, it's from this book. It's from this book! <laughs> it's one of the countries from Kiss of Deception, so these go together, that's pretty cool. And this is by Geeky Clean, and it looks like they have, it looks like they have flavors for like all the different kingdoms, like Dalbrook is melon, Morrigan is berries and grape, and then Venda is lemon flavored lip scrub. So this is like lemon, which is probably like my least favorite flavor, but oh, oh, it's all loose. So it's a lip scrub, <laughs> I don't want to spill it. It smells nice though, it's not too lemony. Cause sometimes like fake lemon scent, it smells like, like cleaning solution. And I'm like, I don't want to put that on my mouth. Next, I have a art print. And it says The Maiden Death, and it is from Legendary by Stephanie Garber. So, um, yeah, this is one of four exclusive hidden covers available only on the first print run. So I guess, like, on the cover of the book, like, underneath the book jacket, they have, like, special edition covers. The Maiden Death looks cool. That looks, that's kind of a cool little art print. I like it. I don't really know what the book's about, but that's a cool print. Oh, neat! <laughs> Next up, I have a coaster! And it says, You are your best weapon. And this is from The Winner's Kiss by R Marie Rutowski. I have that book. I have that book. This is The Winner's Crime, though. But it's the same series. They go together. <laughs> this was made by Evie Bookish. And it's cute. It's, I mean, it's a coaster. I, I like coasters. I can put my wine on it when I'm not drinking it. So next up, I have these little page flags. Um, these are great if you want to annotate what you're reading, because I do like to mark, like, parts that I think are good, like, for quotes and stuff when I'm doing a review. So these are cool. Like, they have, this is, by the word, <laughs> epic quote, swoon, and plot twist. And these are inspired by Throne of Glass. I have that book. It's this book! And they go together. Yay! <laughs> this whole video is just me walking around looking for books. Yeah, these are cool. They're little, like, post-it-y things, and you can, like, mark things in books with it. I wish, like, the sticky part was on the pointy part, though, because that's the part that I'm going to stick inside the book. But the, the sticky part's on, like, the outside, so I have to put them, like, backwards in the book. So that's, like, kind of an odd design. That's a design flaw, in my opinion. But, hey, these are still cute. Next up, I have a bookmark, and this is for Smoke in the Sun by Renee Adier. It's this little bookmark. I believe this is coming out very shortly, probably in a couple weeks. And the back has a little quote on it. It says, It did not matter that the sun refused to shine. Mariko was not beholden to its light. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, a little bookmark. Neat. Oh, this is cool. Um, they gave us a little bit of tea. It's loose leaf tea, I believe, and it's an English breakfast flavor, which is my favorite. It's the only tea I actually like cream in, so I'm kind of like way into it. I like English breakfast tea quite a bit. And it's by the Tea Leaf Co. I, I don't know why I tried to smell it. It's in plastic. I can't smell it. <laughs> but yay, English breakfast tea. I actually really like that. It's probably my favorite. So this is like excellent find for me. Ooh, big stuff now. Oh, shit. 
Oh my goodness, it's a book sleeve. It's a book sleeve, everybody. I'm very excited. Uh, it says, fear is only your enemy if you allow it to be. I know that book. It's this book, it's this book, it goes with this. <laughs> this is one of the first subscription boxes that I had like all of the books for the thing, so that's pretty exciting. This was designed by Reverie and Ink, and it is really pretty. I like it, it has a little fairy loot logo on it and it's kind of got a galaxy print and it's glittery gold, which is nice. The inside is pretty decent. I think overall it's like, um, it's a fairly decent quality. I don't think it'll fit a lot of books though because that's my problem with a lot of book sleeves is that they're small and I feel like for most like hardcover, even smaller hardcovers, they're thick. So like it loses a lot of width when the book is thick. So I don't know how many books this is gonna fit, but it'll definitely fit paperbacks, which is, Nice. The time has come to find out the book of the month. I am very excited. I'm so excited. I want to know what this is. <sighs> Ooh, I see sprayed edges. I'm very excited. All right, so first, oh, this is like a fairy scoop. It's a little newsletter, so I get that. Then, goodies. There's a signed book plate for it. I was trying to figure out who the author is, but I can't even read it. It looks like Grindle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sure Beowulf didn't write this. Oh, this is like a car. I guess there's like an online reading group thing and or I don't know. I maybe like it's like a pen pal thing. Like when you were a little kid and you wrote away to someone you found in the back of a magazine like that, but for fairy loot. <laughs> there's so many papers. Oh my goodness. Oh, a sticker. It says Earthist. This is an Earthist sticker by Onyx and Ivory. I feel like I've just spoiled the book though, because I know Onyx and Ivory is a book. And why would this be in the book bag if it's not that book? But we'll find out. <laughs> Ooh, bookmarks. I like bookmarks. This is um, also based on the um, spoiler card for the month, their like theme card. And it's nice. It's actually well centered. And I kind of like these smaller size bookmarks sometimes because they fit really good like in a mass market paperback. And a lot of the big bookmarks are just like huge. It's like when you buy a small drink and they gave you the large straw and you're just like, what am I going to do with this? Oh God, there's so many papers. <laughs> this is a letter from the author. And on the back, they have this super cool art print. Oh my goodness. So many art prints. I like that. All right. So since I was spoiled by that sticker, I knew this book was going to be Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. I had seen this book in the bookstore the other day and I was like, oh, that seems interesting and I didn't buy it, but now I have it and it has sprayed edges, which is super cool. It looks really nice with the book too because it has like that Onyx and Ivory. Ugh, drop that bag, I don't wanna hold it anymore. Like I was saying, the sprayed edges look super classy with it, I think, because it matches the cover so well. So yeah, sprayed edges, good choice. Looks very, very chic. So it's like this girl who could talk to animals and this guy I'm so befuddled right now. <laughs> okay, so it's like this girl who can talk to animals and this guy and they're saving a kingdom and there's magic and fantasy and swords and fights and battles and it has a really dope cover. I love the gold and the white and the gray and the, and the black and everything. It looks like stylistically, it's really pretty. I love the sprayed edges. This is actually a book I was interested in so I'm super excited I got it. Whew. Usually I like to like give myself a minute to like prepare when I do a video, but this one I'm just like, I was so excited I got it. I'm just like, lights, let's go. <laughs> so, I don't know, we'll find out if I look like a crazy person during this video or not. I might, but whatever. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna calm down now from being a psycho. Let me know in the comments down below if you have ever gotten a fairy loot crate, and if so, what would like what was the coolest thing you got in your crate? Me personally, I'm thinking it might be those sprayed edges because that looked classy on that book. Like I'm really into those sprayed edges. That, ugh, gorgeous stylistic choice. I love it. Also let me know if you are interested in reading Onyx and Ivory. I wanna know if you've read it already, if you're gonna be buddy reading it. Let me know what you think about that book because I think it sounds pretty cool. I mean, stylistically, just artistically, like how it looks is pretty. So it's got that at least. Okay, <laughs> I'm a crazy person. I'm just gonna, I'm just in a weird mood. I'm just gonna stop. I'm in a weird mood. It's just weird. If you like this video, 
give it a like. I can't remember what I say at the end of my videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. That's it. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.